all be a python, even a caiman, all examples of exotic animals recently seized in New York, and experts say they definitely don't belong among us living here in the five boroughs. But as Linda Schmidt shows us, those same experts say we're probably going to see more exotic animals in the city. Well, when you're walking on the boardwalk and you happen to pass somebody carrying a python or an alligator or any other wild animal, it might seem like a cool idea to pay and have your picture taken with the animal. But animal activists are reminding us wild animals are illegal here in New York City, and the treatment of those animals is considered inhumane and cruel. This cute little wallaby is now in the care of a wildlife rescue center in Suffolk County, Long Island. It should have a very large outdoor enclosure at the very least. It's, it's supposed to be in the wild. Last Friday, the guy who owns the wild animal was getting money from people on the Coney Island boardwalk who wanted pictures with it until he got busted by police. This is illegal um, exploitation of these animals. They don't belong in a cramp, cramp bag. Uh, in Coney Island. They belong in Australia. Some of these animals belong in South America. John DeLeonardo is the executive director of Humane Long Island. They patrol tourist areas and report the illegal activity to police. A member of his group spotted the man with the wallaby. Recently, the NYPD also seized a python and a caiman lizard. Daniel Murphy represents business owners on the boardwalk. The issue for the businesses is the safety of their customers. These animals are not domesticated pets. They are wild animals. Wild exotic animals are illegal in the city, but are not illegal in the rest of the state. The New York State Legislature needs to ban both the exhibition and the pet ownership of all exotic animals. Until then, DeLeonardo says we can expect to see even more wild animals in the city. In Coney Island, Linda Schmidt, Fox 5 News.